vaxxed. It's 20 vaccinated, five unvaccinated. I mean, you can't just have like a simple, you know, water yeah. cooler argument about, you know, like this thing, because every time you have like it's point <laughs> counterpoint, point yeah. counterpoint. You know, yeah. I don't know. I saw that and I went and I got my uh, N3000. It's a fantastic topic to structure a talk show around. Oh, we sure should do is. that sometime. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. Uh, I think we're pretty divided already. Um, with the vaccination and the unvaccination. Uh, but really, I mean, when you look at numbers like that with the hospitalizations, I don't know. I would just say that these mandates where the unvaccinated can't do anything, they seem even more ridiculous because they're the minority of people in the hospital. Anyway, uh, 713, Tuesday, January 18th. Let's head into the KUAM News uh, link Zoom room where we have the Guam Public Library System uh, Director, Chris Zarengan. Uh, standing by, I think he's standing by. He might have okay. Hi, Chris. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, so I know you guys have a, what is it? A big ribbon cutting this morning, Chris? Uh, it is not a ribbon cutting, uh, Chris. It's a, uh, it's uh, the first day of uh, op- reopening the library, Dedido Library, for five days, oh. Monday through Friday. And it's going to start at nine thirty. The governor and the lieutenant governor is going to swing by and. Uh, see the staff and so forth. It is not a ribbon cutting service. It's a kind of rededication uh, of the library services to the people of uh, Dedido. Uh, Chris, I'm pretty sure that there's been some changes since the library in Dedido was last open. You want to tell us about some of the big changes for the uh, Guam Public Library Dedido branch? Well, the Dedido branch was being uh, used during the pandemic time, but uh, the another agency and uh, during that time we were not able to open the library and uh, this is uh, prior to my coming to uh, to the gpls and when me when they left we opened for two days and then mayor of derido she said that library services are very important and uh, there are people in that area that they don't have the internet and they would like to use it the library library so we both decided to open the library for five days. So Monday through Friday, starting today, we will be providing the library services uh, for the people of uh, Dedido. And um, and th- that is that is the beginning. And uh, we, we are planning to do many other things. Uh, but the first thing that we need to open the library for the for the um, the people. Right. Uh- and it's uh, being uh, Dedido is being the largest uh, village. And they do need the uh, library services for all the people in that area. Uh, we did have a comment right off the bat, Chris. Uh, Joylene comments in, is there free accessible internet at the Dedido Library? Yes, we do. We do. We do all working. We have about uh, six computers with internet connections and uh, Wi-Fi connection and so forth. Chris, are there any uh, limitations as to what types of a websites can be accessed at the Guam Public Library? Well, uh, we have, uh, you know, the you mean to say the certain, certain uh, website and things like that for school yeah. work? Jason wants to know if yes. he can check his Facebook at the library. Yes, yes. We do have, uh, if you go to our OPAC, uh, it's, uh, it is um, GPLS dot uh, Guam PLS, I'm sorry, Guam PLS. Uh, and then you will see the service as uh, uh, booksys.net. Jeep Guam PLS dot booksys.net. And when you go there and then you click display, and, and then you will see on the right hand side, you will see on the right hand side, okay, you will see on the right hand side all the other services that we pro- provide uh, guampedia uh, learning chamorro epsco um, Chris, Gutenberg, I'm, uh, I'm sorry my friend was at gpls.booksys.net no guam pls i'm oh. sorry g u a m p l s dot booksys.net And uh, people can go to this uh, website and check out what you guys have to offer. Is there a sign up for? Uh... Well, if they want to uh, borrow books and uh, th- they can, you know, 
they can log on if you look at on the top account yeah. Yeah. they can reserve the book and they can search the book and so forth now on the right left hand side you see search if you click the topic any topic and uh, what it does if you uh, if you type it uh, say for an example on the left hand side it says search okay now it's getting bring the books whatever we have here we have i typed it as skin disease and you see the books that we have in our library we have 10 books on in agania agate has four books dedido has three books and you also you see at the bottom uh, on the computer we have a john f kennedy all the high schools all the middle schools are listed okay but even though they won't be able to go to these uh, libraries but they can see what they have mm. however the students when they log in when they go home they log in uh, atrium a t r i u u m dot g d o e gdoi.net if you click that and you will see all the gdoi libraries okay are you with me uh, i'm with you, you chris i'm just serve yeah so how this seems like okay. it's, what did you have to do like okay. scan every book to enter it into this uh, database no they don't what they do the students at the, when they go home you know most of the students go home at two o'clock and they are doing a project and they go to their opac opac means online public access catalog all over the world that's what they use now opac so when they go click when they go to home and they go to their own library for an example, in this case, see, let's see, let's go to J John F. Kennedy High School. And then you click display. And then you type the same topic, uh, skin disease. Search up some Jeff Jeff. Okay. Now I am in a JFK uh, place and then I click uh, uh, skin disease, a student. Uh, for an example, a student is uh, looking for books, but he got you know at jfk they have about six books but if we look at it the other schools also have books so they can you know they can conduct or they can somehow they can get it but if you click one public library you know like as i said earlier we have 11 books so those books this system is integrated okay so when the student go to the public library system opac system it has the books all these books these books can be requested or reserved uh, and the students can or if it is uh, if it's not late if it's close to the any branch libraries he can go and get those books you see these books so after 11 or 2 o'clock 2 30 if he if he's a member of our J, um, public library if he has a card he should be able to reserve that book uh chris how do people sign up uh, to get an account uh with the guam public library system if they can call they can send an email there is if you look at it i uh, like said uh, you see the uh public library uh if you go to the opac you see there's a library card they can register there you know on the opac right uh, my picture below right on my opac guam public library system there's a library card all right and then once you sign up for that library card you can do that completely online chris yes we can do that we can conduct them and uh, we should be able to do that all right on uh what if people have late fees i'm sorry are there are do you guys still charge late fees i don't know i'm old school yes 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 we do we do we charge 25 cents per day uh you know uh that's 25 cents if the book is late uh 
25 cents. But student, uh, yeah, the library patrons can borrow six books at a time. And uh, if the parents, uh, you know, mostly the parents who come with the kids and the kids also have a library card and they are allowed to have uh, six books. Um, but Chris, uh, how excited are you though to launch this? Because uh, I'm very excited. I'm, you know, we have some challenges, uh, Chris, you know, remember during the time of the internet time, you know, last 16, 17 years, and the library was out in the dark because there was no professional librarians and uh, they didn't have any training. So the library was kind of, you know, it was doing the services, but not, uh, you know, the changes. They, they were nobody, there was nobody who could take the leadership and change the system. Uh, one example I'll tell you, they were, there was a system they had before I came and this term system, there was a module, search module, like just like we did, what we did with this system. They were not able to search anything. When I was at JFK, people used to call me, you know, and ask me, you know, I'm trying to get this book and the system says no. So I called Terry, who was the, who was the supervisor at the Kuam Public Library. So I helped, I asked her. So they they had challenges they was that uh, our library tech, technicians were not trained trained didn't go through any major training and they are located in new zealand so there was a communication issues and um, when i came one of the first thing that i did was to we put a bid and uh, that company also allowed uh, to put a bid uh, put the price quotation and then our gsa decided to choose this system it because the price was good the service was good and GDO already uh, was subscribing for this particular database um, system, so it worked very well. So we 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 are paying we are paying we will be paying only five thousand dollars a year, compared to twenty or thirty nine thousand dollars per year with other system. Yeah. So one of the major things that I did was change the system, and we got a lot of training, and I am also giving training, and it's it's you know technology is sometimes intimidate people. And these folks did everything uh, manually. And I'm, I'm trying to change to the, uh, change to the new system and training. And the library technicians are amazing. And they love me and they like me. Uh, and uh, whatever the training I give, we have a good feedback and, and, and so forth. So I do not see any, uh, anything. Yes, it is slow process. It is going to go one by one. So we did uh, the first thing we changed the system. The second thing, second thing uh, we did uh, uh, we we needed to change the entire collection. Yeah. The collection was very old. C can you believe? Oh yeah, Chris. Chris let's get most... in, let's get into this though because we did have a bunch of pictures. Could pop those pictures. Uh, and man, I, I get the modernization because I actually spent a lot of my childhood at the library, whether on Guam mm. or wherever I was living. Uh, mm. And so I feel like a lot of our generation, uh, Jason could probably confirm, we are very familiar with the Dewey Decimal System. Is that still in place? Yes, yes it is. It is. This, this system is based on Dewey Decimal uh, nice. System. Okay. And so I know you said that uh, you had a lot of old books, and that's where these picks come in. We're able to uh, get mm -hmm. uh, Chris. Mm -hmm. um, so let me get this straight. You're discarding a bunch of the library inventory. Uh, can you describe mm -hmm. the process in this? Well, we had a guidelines as to why, how we can choose these books. One is the book is old, mildew, which is not suitable to keep that on the shelf, number one. Number two, we, we look at the book, and if the book was not checked out last 15, 20 years, we remove those books. And the number three, um, the books are uh, out of the, you know, science books, computer books, and we had a quite a few the uh, test uh, study guides like ASVAB, G GED, and so forth. These are like 15, 20 years old. So we don't want to keep those selves. So we wanted to remove those things based on some of the subjects. And uh, that is what we got those books. Uh, so these books are just going to get thrown in the trash? Yeah, what do, you, what do we do with those uh, study guide, uh, Chris? Uh, 13 years old ASVAB, who would want to... <laughs> uh, read that and prepare for the test. 
this is very old. When I was at JFK, I, I buy these guides every year because otherwise if it's one year old, the students are not interested in. So I was making sure that we have current edition for the students to prepare for their test. So these are 10, 13 years old. Uh, so I had to, I had to discard them. So are, is there any opportunity for uh, people? Cause I mean, they can't all be old study guys, right? So is there any opportunity no. for- No, the for, people are, we put it in a room where the, we are planning to have the, our, uh, our um, ca cafe, internet cafe. That's where we have, and we allow the public to come and get those books. Mm. We, uh, those people are coming, but still there are books. If you stay in that room for about five minutes, you will, you will feel the kind of mail do these books have. You don't want to stay. I cannot stay more than five to ten minutes in that in the room because it's all smelly and I get the irritated uh, nose. Mm. So th these are not safe to even mm. give it to those some any 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 uh, any institution or anybody. Okay, uh, Chris. You know, I, I, I had covered uh, the previous library director uh, Arlene Santos, right? And I know that. Mm. Um, you had been on the board before, and uh, there were a lot of issues that the employees and the staff of the library had brought up about uh, the former director, uh, who you obviously uh, replaced. But I would forwarded you this uh, letter that uh, we got from library staff, which lists a bunch of uh, very similar concerns that they had with uh, Arlene. And so uh, I, I don't really want to get into a lot of the details, but basically it's uh, just a laundry list of concerns about your uh, leadership. So I just wanted to give you the opportunity to uh, respond to this um, here before we let you go. Okay, I I came here to help. Okay, I was with uh, JFK with a wonderful family. I was happy there and I wanted to help. And I, I am doing the help. I am here. There are one or two folks, not all of them. My library technicians, uh, like me, they like the, my leadership. This is um, Chris, maybe one or two persons who may not uh, perform their own job there. So this is uh, uh, complaints uh, that uh, I, 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 I believe it's all false. I am doing what I can. You remember, it is 16 to 17 years of uh, library without uh, proper leadership. Of course, people are going to say, uh, you know, they were in a certain level, they were there in the comfort zone. So now I come there, I'm trying to change. I will get this kind of uh, reactions and I will be, uh, I, I can tell that these are accusations that are totally false, totally false. I am very sincere. I want to help. I am, I've been here for a while. There's no favoritism, period. I treat everybody same level. This is because some people, okay, in this library, these folks have to eat, decide what they want, okay? Are they going to be here? Uh, are they going to keep this library like uh, like, like a museum? This need, library needs to be changed. Library needs to be automated. Everything that I am doing there, automation, okay? They are uh, one example, statistics. We are a full-time person, statistic person. And that person, I when I said, she say I didn't need that because this particular system, Chris, provide all kind of reports. We can put people can uh, we can enter every time somebody comes there in the system, and it gives all kind of what kind of any kind of report. No need right now. They are doing one person every time they come there. They mark it and they send it to the main office, and that person tally up and puts it on a system. But whereas this computer does all of that, this, uh, this system does all of that. So I'm changing, I do some resistance, but slowly they will, they will appreciate it anytime when you, when you put a new technology, a new system, you will find folks, uh, you know, resistant, you know, they resist to the, some of these changes, but I'm doing everything what I can. I have, to my honest, I'm very sincere, I'm very hardworking, and those people, those who know me can tell the kind of job that I do, okay? I am doing everything what I can. And you know, we have, uh, we have to follow the rules. We just cannot order everything overnight. We have to get a building process. We need to follow the procurement law and so forth. So it is slow, a little bit slow, but somebody comes there and tells everybody that I'm not doing anything. That is a really false uh, quest. 
Well, I'm, 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 I'm not, I'm not agreeable on that, on that. Thank you, Chris. I just wanted to give you that opportunity. Uh, so today yeah. at nine 30, there's a, um, what did you call it again? A reopening of the uh, yeah, library. reopening okay. uh, the Dido library. Yes. Uh, you're going to have refreshments. No freshmen because of the COVID-19, uh, Chris, they just come there. Uh, the executives will be there just to talk to the staff and uh, encourage everybody. And then uh, the, both of them will be there. They are on their way to another another ground breaking ceremony. But they, you know, they also support me 100 percent. They uh, want to change. They want to have a better library. They want to have a, uh, provide uh, good services to the public. So I am, that's what I'm doing. I am, there's no, I'm not sitting there doing nothing. Some, some people think that I'm on the computer all the time. Of course, I'm all, my job is always with the computer. So that means <laughs> I'm not doing anything. So a lot of things going on behind the scene. So I'm doing that. So some people can say, oh, he's always in the computer. Of course, I'm on the, always in the computer. And I work with people. I appreciate people. I value them very highly. And these folks are, you know, we live on Guam and our resources are very much limited and we need to work with what we got. That is my belief. I need to, I was a teacher. I need to teach these folks little by little and there's no name calling. I encourage them. I never said anything. I'm extremely kind to them. And for someone to come here, I need to find out. They come and let them come and talk to me. If they have some issues, come and talk to me. I will explain to them. Simply, you cannot accuse and saying that I'm not doing anything. That is totally false. Thank you again, Chris. Uh, yes. Oh, can you get a stat? Can we get a status on the Barragata uh, Library? Because I know that they had okay. used that. What, what's the deal with that? Barragata, Barragata. We, you know, we once once it was uh, we converted into an archive center, yeah. which is a which was a good idea. It's not, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. It was one room, everything was, uh, you know, archive materials and so forth. But it was not, as the days went by, it was not practical because people who come to the main library and they do all the search and then they have to go back to um, Bergada. So we decided to bring the Bergada library back to the community and bring the, the archive materials back to the main library, which we did about two weeks ago. And our Berigara library is now fully functional branch library. We open two days a week and eventually we'll see. If we have more people, we might increase the number of days. So it is fully functional library. It will be open at nine o'clock, nine o'clock to 5.30. That's uh, my, uh, Tuesday and Thursday, Berigara library. Got it, Chris. Any other, anything else before we let you go? Okay, the thing is, uh, Chris, we have sent, uh, we have about 64,000 uh, members in our uh, database. And uh, we found about 3,700 people with email address. So we send uh, this survey, which is very crucial for our grant. Not only that, also we want to know what the people say about the library. So we send this uh, survey to using uh, uh, Survey Monkey about last, and actually it was uh, 15th was the last day but we decided to extend because we did not get enough uh, responses mm. so i will send you the link and uh, if the folks your listeners are listening this email a lot of the email went to their junk email right. so you might yeah they might want to check there and i really appreciate if they would uh, you know respond it, it takes about not even 10 minutes yeah, send, uh, Chris, send, send it and we'll, we'll post it up in the comments. So, guys, I guess uh, check your spam folder, right? And if yes. it's not there, check your corn beef folder. Yes. And the other thing is, uh, Chris, I would appreciate if anybody complaining uh, that kind of thing that I am not, would ask them to come and talk to me. Yeah. Because uh, they have they have no clue what I'm doing. Yeah. We have done quite a bit of work last, uh, I've been here only six months. Yeah. You cannot, uh, you know, get a miracle overnight. I mean, uh, you know, Chris, a lot, a lot of it was um, uh, he uses his position as director to bully employees, um, threatening to write them up for insubordination because he approaches no, employees, no, no, yeah, no, no, all no. that kind of stuff. So. Uh, huh. Okay. If somebody is trying to terrorize the place, of course I will write them up. You know, that's not a good place to be. 
it is a children come there somebody gets mad and uh, throw things out and things like that that's not a, uh, it's not a place to, for that kind of i mean uh, behavior so i i i, I do get, i do uh, get that kind of behavior i do see in the library and again i said i have to work with people they need to appreciate me just because i they do all these bad things they don't come to our work on time and you know somebody accusing somebody's on drug i i resent that fact because i am not going to say anything i will this person is on drug or that person we had already did all the work it was found negative and i don't want to go further that's all is it, is okay. it was it a hard adjustment for you chris because i mean you were like a librarian in the in the public school system and now you're yes. i mean you're heading the library yes, system yes, right yes. And, and this position is it, traditionally has been filled by like a political appointee so i'm pretty sure it's it kind is, of an adjustment uh, is, for you chris chris uh it's not political no i i uh, it was announced i wanted to apply for the job i did apply for the job and uh, and the board decided that that is not, not enough time so they extend that so somebody will come and apply so other people applied but the board there chose me okay and based on my experience based on the uh, work that i have done in this community so they they hired me yes of course it's a big change big challenge and uh, i i want to appreciate those who are standing by and supporting me in the library works i want to appreciate them they are with me they want they like my uh, the things that i do for the library 99% of the library staff are with me and they appreciate this is one or two persons uh, chris they are not happy they will not you know another thing is if somebody comes there and do some changes they don't like it and they don't like the person so they come to the media and say so many things about that person that's you know you have to have facts it's not uh you know it's this is all false false i am not i don't have any favoritism i treat people everybody everybody the same way uh i don't have any favoritism at all thank you chris i know you got that uh reopening to prepare for so we're going to go ahead and uh, let you go out. i definitely appreciate your time and send me the link for the survey and uh jason will pop it up in the comments okay thank you so thank much thank you chris appreciate good it. luck good luck today yeah. right okay on. thank uh, you yeah yep the uh, library, everybody. Chris, Chris and I shamelessly grew up in the library. Yeah. So much, so much of our youth, right? I mean, I remember having to go to the Dedido Library at Santa yeah. Barbara yeah. on Saturday afternoons or Saturday mornings. You know, you would go there. They would have like learning events. You could watch. You know, they would have like uh, community uh, like films. I remember we watched The Lorax by Dr. Seuss. Yeah. You ever watch what, what was that one? It was like a it was like a riff on Star Wars. It was like a. <laughs> 